Hey, it's Matt Pinfield, and I am here with Vixen. I was at a summer camp. I must have been like eight or nine years old at the time. We were all sitting like in a circle, and the sort of instructors brought out acoustic guitars, and they were just taking requests. And that feeling of togetherness, it was just like a lightning bolt for me. I was like, oh yeah, I get it. You know, I'd played guitar on my own at home, but nothing else kind of mattered in that moment. That's when I really fell in love with music. I was in a band with my school friends. That really made me continue falling in love with music. That's what like solidified it for me. So I decided at 16, like, this is a big decision, but I'm gonna try and do music for a living. That is what I love about music. A lot of people say it's like it's like my therapy, right? Guitar is one of the few things that when I play it, I'm not thinking about my worries here or there or anything. Everything just kind of makes sense. What is the quality in the lead part that makes it perfect for you? What is, what is that thing about it? The criteria that I've always had is no one could cover this and make it better, right? Yeah. It's like that. that is how it should be. I think a good solo should definitely have a journey. Maybe something unexpected as well. Jackson guitar, the new American series soloist. I'm so impressed with this. It's just so much easier to play higher up. So much easier. And like this green one has got a satin finish. And what's really good about that is I usually have bare skin here. Yeah. And when there's like a kind of glossy finish, it's quite hard to move across the strings. But with this it's not a problem. I can I can slide around all I like. The harmonics are really, really pronounced on this guitar. Perhaps it's due to pickups or the neck through, but you can get harmonics like right down, right down here, and you can't on my other guitars. It's quite crazy in that respect. really help someone grow as a player and what do you think are some of the things that could be a hindrance? Mm -hmm. I think where I went wrong a little bit and where I slowed down in my development was I was trying to sound like everybody else and when you try and sound like someone else you're probably going to be a worse version of, of them because they're probably just being themselves and that's why they stand out to you. Because of that I, I think I spread myself a little too thin. I didn't really specialise in anything and I would probably care a little bit too much about what the most booked guitarist was doing as opposed to what am I passionate about? What's my unique blend of influences that has been amazing for my development? You have to want to do it. Just, just, I'm just hungry for it now. I find it therapeutic. Improving at the instrument is really, really rewarding. Like looking back six months and being like, I sound different. It's an amazing feeling. 